Hey everyone, this is Stas and welcome to my channel. I hope everybody is doing great. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a delicious sweet corn chicken soup in the instant pot. In the instant pot, this soup will be ready in less than 15 minutes and it's one of my favorite soups that I make quite often. Sweet corn chicken soup is a popular soup in Indo-Chinese cuisine so you wouldn't find this soup in Indian restaurants nor in Chinese restaurants. So you have to go to an Indo-Chinese restaurant to have this. So Indo-Chinese restaurants are quite popular in India and in North America you will find Indo-Chinese restaurants in most of the major cities. So now you don't have to go to an Indo-Chinese restaurant to enjoy the soup. You can make this in your instant pot effortlessly and it will be ready in less than 15 minutes and it will taste better than restaurant style. So guys, let's get started. I have all the ingredients ready here. So we are going to make the soup with chicken. So here I have the boneless chicken breast diced. You can also use thighs. And here's my instant pot. So this is instant pot ultra model. You can use any kind of instant pot model. If you have instant pot dual model, you can use that. So, and here is the stainless steel pot. So we're going to add some of the ingredients to the stainless steel pot and we're going to pressure cook for just five minutes. So let's do that. So to the stainless steel pot, I'm going to add the boneless chicken breast. So I've taken one chicken breast or you can use thighs. Here is the cream style sweet corn. So for making the soup, we have to add cream style sweet corn. So don't add sweet corn kernels. So this is around one and a half cups. So add it to the chicken. Next, I'm going to add one chicken bouillon cube. So if you don't have this, you can add chicken stock. So just um, crush it and add and uh, three cups water so if you're adding chicken stock you don't have to add water next let's add soy sauce so here I have light soy sauce so don't add dark soy sauce it's very intense so let's add two tablespoon light soy sauce I'm gonna just eyeball this right that's good Next, let's add rice vinegar. So this is mild tasting vinegar. Don't add white vinegar. It's very intense and it will totally alter the taste of the soup. So I'm going to measure this. We only have to add like a tablespoon of rice vinegar. And this is available at um, all grocery stores these days or at Asian superstore. So adding a tablespoon of rice vinegar. Adding a few pinches of freshly ground black pepper. I'm not going to add any salt at this point. So I've added chicken bouillon cube and it has salt in it. Or if you have added chicken stock, it will have salt. So try to add low sodium chicken stock. So that way you can adjust the salt level. So after cooking this, if salt is required, we can add it. And also going to add like two tablespoon green onions chopped. I have added everything to the stainless steel pot so give it a good mix. So next let's pressure cook this in the instant pot. So since I've added boneless chicken breast we only have to pressure cook this for 5 minutes. So even if you have added chicken thighs only 5 minutes of pressure cooking in the instant pot. So let's do that. I'm using instant pot ultra model so you can use any kind of instant pot model. So let's keep the stainless steel pot into the main pot. While pressure cooking, we have to keep the sealing ring on the lid. So let's close with the lid. Here's the lid for Instant Pot Ultra model. So in this model, we don't have to turn the steam release valve to sealing. Uh, so if you look at Instant Pot Duo model, so here is the lid for Instant Pot Duo model. So while pressure cooking, we need to point the steam release knob towards a ceiling. So it says sealing and venting. So while pressure cooking, this has to be pointed towards sealing so the pressure will be sealed. But in this model, we don't have to do that. So just make sure this is uh, kept tightly. So just press it down. So here is the steam release valve and also close the lid tightly. So next let's uh, select pressure cook setting. So click on pressure cook. So it also has a soup broth setting. So I don't use that setting. I always use the pressure cook. It's, it's the same, even the soup broth, um, all the other settings, it does pressure cooking. So I select pressure cook and then I manually set the time. So we're gonna pressure cook this for just five minutes. So click on the knob, five minutes selected and pressure should be high. 
and that's it in this model we have to click start in some models like instant pot duo model we don't have to click start it doesn't have a start button in instant pot ultra model we can see the cooking progress it will be displayed on the screen so right now it's showing preheating so it will preheat for a few minutes after we set the pressure and time and click start so that means the uh, pressure is building inside the inner pot. So it will take like a few minutes, I would say five minutes. Right now pressure is being built in the stainless steel pot or the inner pot. And once the pressure is built, the float valve will be pushed upwards. So it's trying to come up right now. So the pressure cooking has started and the countdown will be displayed. So we are pressure cooking for five minutes. After five minutes of pressure cooking, instant pot will beep. So that means pressure cooking has completed and it will turn into warm mode. So right now it's keeping the soup warm. So what I do is I let the pressure release naturally for five minutes and then I'll do a quick pressure release. After five minutes of natural pressure release, I'm gonna cancel the keep warm mode and now let's do a quick pressure release so in this instant pot ultra model we have to click on the steam release valve so it says here press to vent so just click on this so the pressure has completely released let's open the lid so it smells really good next let's turn on saute setting and keep the temperature to medium and click start. Let the soup come to a boil. It will only take a couple of minutes and we are gonna add beaten egg to the soup. So crack an egg to a bowl using a fork or whisk. Just beat the egg really well. To thicken the soup, I'll be also adding cornstarch. So it's not corn flour. So this is 100% pure cornstarch. So add like a tablespoon of cornstarch to a bowl and add like two tablespoon cold water. So don't add warm or hot water. So just add cold water and mix it well so the cornstarch will dissolve in water. So if you add hot water, lumps will be formed. It will not dissolve. So now it's, it has dissolved. So keep this aside as you can see the soup has come to a rolling boil so this is perfect so next we are going to add the beaten egg so beat the egg really well using a whisk so we are going to pour the egg using our one hand as we pour the egg we have to keep stirring that's when egg will turn into threads and slowly pour the egg so this is the fun part so let's do it i'm going to slowly pour the egg and keep stirring otherwise lumps will be formed so as you can see the egg is forming into threads so keep stirring and keep pouring and the soup has to be really hot if you don't stir the egg will form into lumps so we don't need that as you can see the eggs has turned into threads this is so beautiful next let's pour the cornstarch slurry so before pouring mix it well and again slowly pour the cornstarch and keep stirring give it a taste and if you need more salt you can add it uh, at this point i just gave a taste and it's perfect i'm also going to add a few pinches of freshly ground black pepper towards the very end we have to add pure sesame oil so don't skip this so as soon as we add sesame oil this soup will get uh, aromatic so we only need like a teaspoon so just add a teaspoon of sesame oil don't add any other oil you have to add sesame oil okay that's it don't have to add a lot just a teaspoon so as soon as the oil hits the soup it gets aromatic oh my god the smell is so good i'm taking deep breaths in right now garnish with some green onions chopped and cilantro chopped look at this so delicious and aromatic so this is done let's cancel saute setting and let's remove the pot from the main pot so don't keep the pot in the main pot it will continue to cook 
So take it out of the main pot and let's keep this covered for a few minutes. I'm going to serve this into a soup bowl. So if you want, you can garnish with some more green onions and a cilantro. I cannot wait to dig in, so let me enjoy this soup. So it looks beautiful and smells really aromatic. So let me taste this. Mmm, so good, perfect. So the first taste that we'll get is sesame oil. So it's sesame oil that will make the soup really aromatic, so please don't skip it. And don't add any other oil, you have to add sesame oil, just a teaspoon. And then we'll get the taste of sweet corn. So this soup is slightly sweet, but not that overpowering. I enjoy the bite of sweet corn and also the chicken pieces. And the ground black pepper we have added will impart the heat. Even though we have added one egg, we wouldn't get the taste of egg. So this is a perfect soup to enjoy on any day, especially on a cold day. This is my most favorite soup in the whole wide world. So do give this recipe a try. I'm pretty sure you're gonna love this and you're gonna make this quite often. So if you like this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do subscribe. I'll be back with more easy breezy, delicious instant pot cooking videos. Until then, happy cooking. Take care and bye. Enjoy the soup. So guys, I do have the written recipe on my blog, tazneen.com. So I'll post the link in the description below. Check that out. And I also have many instant pot, easy breezy recipes. I'll post all the links in the description below. Check that out.